Hello, I have yet another video for you. I've got more stuff that I want to show you today. So, I, I keep getting people saying about how I've done different things on my stream. Oh, Smiler, how have you done the portal and the green screen? How have you done the visualizer stuff? How have you done the little animated bit at the top right there with, with the sponsor links? It's actually really easy. It's just a load of stuff like all bundled together and it sort of comes in and makes this effect. So, the bit I'm going to tell you about today is the visualizer right down here either side of me. So, if you want to know how I do this, listen in and I will tell you. I will tell you all of the secrets. So, I use a program called Plane 9. If you Google it, Plane and the number 9, put it into Google, it will come up. It's a free program that you can download and run on your PC. Essentially, what it does is you can pick from a whole host of different types of visualizers. Select the one that you want, add it as a source into OBS, do any like chroma key stuff to take out backgrounds, whatever you want to do. And um, yeah, and then you can have a live visualizer on your screen. It detects the audio on your PC, so from like my desktop audio source. It picks up any music or anything that's playing. So you can see right now, this is the song that's playing right now from my Pretzel Rocks. And you can see the bars react to it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the software. So if I switch you over right now, this is the software. This is Plane 9. So when you install Plane 9, it has two parts to it. Number one is a program called Configure Plane 9. This is what you see right now. You open this up to basically pick what you want your visualizer to look like. There's two main ones that I've used in the past. So the old one that I used to use a long time ago is this one here, Block Spectrum. I used to use this quite a lot before. It does that greeny yellow to the red sort of bar right there. Um, it's a really nice one. You could also see there's loads of options as well. I've seen people use coloured smoke before. There's the Matrix one with the Matrix trails down the screen. But the one that I'm using at the moment that you could see at the bottom of the screen just then was this Monster Spectrum. What happens with this? Every time you reopen the program, it changes to a different colour. I'm pretty sure you can actually change that if you really want to, but I quite like it. On the right hand side, you can choose playlists, so you can pick multiple ones of these, put them in a playlist, and it like alternates between them, which I think is really cool. Um, and yeah, once you've configured and picked whichever one you want in here, you can close this right down. And this is what it has right here. So there's another bit which is called Plane 9 Windowed, which is another program that installs on your PC. This is what you get. This is like a windowed version. And this is what you add into OBS. So in your OBS, your Streamlabs OBS, your XSplit, whatever you use, you can add a new window capture. Select this Plane 9 windowed right there, and this adds what you see right here into your stream. You can either have it as it is and put that as your background, which is fine, which is totally fine. Or you could do what I did, which I'll show you on here. Essentially what I did is I applied a chroma key for a black background. That took away all of the black background. I shifted it down to the bottom of the screen. As you can see, I cut off the bottom level of bars. So what you see right here is you just see the top of the bars going up and down like that. And yeah, you can customize it however you want. You can rotate it around and you can have it down the side of the screen. You can have it at the top. You can have it right across the background, wherever you want it really. You can customize that however you want. But yeah, the steps. Plane 9 is the program that I use. You can download that for free off of Google. Plane 9 of the number 9. Install it on your PC. Open up Configure Plane 9, pick whichever like visualizer that you want to use, or you can select multiple, put them into a playlist. Close that down and you'll see another program you installed which is called Plane 9 Windowed. This opens up the pop-up window that you've got. Once you've got that, you can add that as a window capture into OBS. Then you can go on right click Filters on the source and you can apply like a chroma key, set the colour to black. And you could take out the background. It depends which one you use, but you could customize it however you want, really. You could tweak all the settings so it doesn't look too bad, so it doesn't have, like, you can see I don't have rough edges or anything on this because I faded it a little bit as well. And yeah, it's essentially as easy as that. That's how I do my visualizers. That's how I've been doing them for nearly a year now. And I'm sure you could probably get other solutions as well. There's other programs that I'm pretty sure do the same thing. Play 9 is just one that I found easiest to use. I will say that some of the options don't look quite as nice, um, but this Monster Spectrum one is pretty much exactly what I was after, which is why I just use it, because it just works. So yeah, if um, if you want to set that up, give it a go. If you have any problems, let me know. If there's anything else that you can think of that you want me to chat about, drop me a message on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, leave a comment down below. Whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for watching, though. If you want to catch me on my streams, I stream like five days a week, mixer.com forward slash smiler. And I will see you there. Thank you so much. I will see you all again very, very soon. Thank you.